Let's talk about the first time we meet Roshi and how Goku gets his flying Nimbus. It all begins when Goku helps Roshi's turtle get to sea after he got lost and deep in some land. The turtle was so grateful he told Goku and Bulma to wait while he brings back a present. And then a legend himself makes his first appearance, the turtle hermit Roshi. I should really put some more respect on his name, right? This is Master Roshi we're talking about. The man who originally taught Goku martial arts, besides Grandpa Gohan, of course. When Master Roshi arrives, he gives his thanks, and then comes the gift. Initially, he was going to give a gift of a magic carpet, but it wasn't available at the moment. It was at the cleaners, so the Nimbus came to mind afterwards. Just to clarify, the magic carpet is what we see for the dub version. It's been so long since I read the original sub or the manga for it, but in those versions, he calls over the Immortal Phoenix, which sounds way cooler. Unfortunately, the Immortal Phoenix ended up dying. How tragic. Roshi claims that he was going to grant them immortality, but brings the next best thing, and that's the Nimbus. Or for those of you who watched in the original sub, Kinto! Afterwards, Master Roshi tells Goku and Boma that they can have the Nimbus if they're able to ride it, because his own self couldn't ride it anymore due to him not being pure-hearted. To no surprise, Goku steps on the Nimbus, and from there, it's history. Nimbus is his, he starts flying around on it, and it's great to see Goku use the Nimbus for the first time. The character of Goku is just innocence. He uses it and has pure joy and happiness on him. Something about it reminds you of your own childhood and how you didn't have a worry in the world when you were a kid. Similar to Goku, you felt like you could fly, nothing but a free spirit. It's like receiving a gift on your birthday or Christmas that you so badly wanted and now it's just countless excitement. Watching Goku use the Nimbus always made me happy. I know Goten currently has the Nimbus in the super manga and I hope during this arc we see him use it more often because it's just fun seeing the Nimbus. It's one of those OG items that I can't forget. But this is how it all started. This is how Goku ended up going further on in his adventure to collect all Dragon Balls with Bulma. Eventually training with Master Roshi himself and becoming one of the strongest people later on. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like and sub button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching as always and I'm going to see you in the next one.